Okay, here's a video for the hungry paleo man that's not getting any duck eggs this time of the year in New England, even though it's 58 degrees on February 1st, and I'll take it. So here we go. We've got 30 quail eggs. <laughs> this is the new uh, thing. This is good stuff. I'm going to try to prop this camera up so you can see what's going on. Bear with me. But uh, or maybe I can just do it this way. Check it out. Right? Ready? Okay, great. We got an egg. We're going to put this bad boy through here, right? Whack! Gonzo. That's beautiful, isn't it? Now, if you're holding it, if you have that third arm, you can see the top comes right off. It's good stuff. If you do it faster, it usually goes all the way through. I'm going to try to do this. Let me see if we can hold it like that. There we go. Oh, yeah, Maggie. Oh, I almost dropped you. There goes the dog freaking out. All right. Okay. Professional quality videos. Maggie, enough. All right. 30 quail eggs into the blender. This is how you do it, right here. Into the blender. This is a quail egg recipe for Michael Jordan, <laughs> all right? We're going into the fridge. We buy light cream in bulk because we're paleo. And we should buy heavy cream, but you know how expensive that stuff is? I'm gonna do, I don't know, I never measure, but today we're gonna do one cup. I don't know, yeah, a cup. Usually, I don't know if I ever do that much. Hold on, let's see what it looks like in here. Yeah, sure, cup. Sounds good to me. Cup of light cream. Knock yourself out. We're going to go up into the cupboard here. Where are we? Where is it? We got some cinnamon. Real cinnamon. None of that garbage. Hold on, i got to open it. It's a lot of quail eggs. Cinnamon. I put in like, I don't know, that much? Teaspoon? These are baby spoons. They're great for spices in a mason jar. Okay. All right. And we're going to put in, just for fun, some turmeric, turmeric, organic. I get this stuff, uh, I think it's Star West Botanicals. On, I'm going to put in this much turmeric because it's good for you. And it doesn't change the flavor, really. It just changes the color. <laughs> so, anti-inflammatories, right? So we got some cinnamon for the diabetes. <clears throat> we got some eggs for protein. We got some liquid in there with the form of milk or cream. I've got some, some of this stevia, nature's candy. You ready? This is how much you need. You get, get as much as you need, then tap it all off, and then you're gonna go like this. Poof. Oh, that was too much, probably. Whatever. It'll be okay. It ain't bad without the stevia. It's just easier to drink it. Because I'm gonna add some vanilla. Now I've also been known to add chocolate. I can't get the top on there right now. They can wait. Here we go. Where's my vanilla hiding out? This is good stuff. Organic bourbon. Once you drink this vanilla, you'll never drink regular vanilla again. We're going to put in, this is an exact science. That much. <laughs> I never, ever. And then the only thing I don't have that's organic is, where's my nutmeg at? Look at that. Little Buffalo Bills potato cooking bag. Beautiful thing. All right. Where are we hiding my nutmeg? McCormick garbage, but I haven't run out and it's wicked expensive when you buy it in bulk. And then, yeah, a little bit of nutmeg. Hey, this is all the taste. So however you want to do it. All right, let me put some stuff away. So all these quail eggs that I have here are my, the ones that I feel are too small. And they're really not, but that's just, we have such big quail eggs, it's like crazy. Let's go check it out, I'll show you. Okay. Hope you're all okay with walking. In here in my tiny home, that's a disaster. We got quail eggs. We have some quail eggs ready to roll. Just a couple, <laughs> right? These ones are pretty big, you know? They're pretty big, let's see. If that makes me, does that, yeah, whatever. Okay, cool, here we go. That's the dedicated greens freezer. If you're trying to run a farm, I get, I, I highly recommend <clears throat> freezers, or fridge, refrigerators, sorry, that are only refrigerators. All right, here we go. We're gonna put that on. We're gonna hit on. And uh, uh, today we're gonna do that. Good enough. Into a something to drink it out of. What do we want to use today? Mason jar, this thing. Mason jar, or this thing. 
go with mason jar today. It doesn't matter. I got a lid for this, so it'll make it easier, right? Let's check it out. So we've got, it's yellow because of the turmeric. The turmeric, or whatever you people want me to call it. I don't know. So you know what I do now? I take this bad boy, I rinse it out good. I take this, that's awesome. I put a little dab of friggin' soap in there. I stick it back on the blender. And I do it again. Ah, Alright, cool. Guess what? It's clean. Then I'll rinse it again. Right? So if you ever wanted to clean a blender, come on now. I worked in restaurants for 24 years. This is how it's done. All right, so some delicious high quality eggnog right there. That's the way it's done. You know, if you want to put some rum in there, then knock yourself out. I'm going to have some. <sighs> Breakfast to champions right there. Dowie Farm duck eggs straight from the quack house. Today it's quail eggs, though. Over. <laughs>